Actually, we are strongly opposed to price wars because Xpeng is a new car manufacturing enterprise. What does being a new enterprise mean? It means we are just starting out and we're not as robust as others. Secondly, Xpeng is a company that focuses heavily on technological innovation. We need more R&D funding to accomplish many things. People familiar with Xpeng know that we work on cars, autonomous driving, flying cars and robots, each of which requires significant R&D investment. Recently, China's policies have been regulating this price war, and we are very pleased about it. This will allow the market to develop a healthier and more sustainable way in the long term. This has been going on for three years now. How do you think it will end? I think this is a very challenging topic for me. I hope it will end tomorrow, but I don't think it will. So I believe that when competition starts to get more orderly and technological changes slow down, the intensity of competition, including price wars, will ease. However, at the moment, I don't see this milestone happening yet, and I think it may continue to exist. There's been criticism about overcapacity in the EV market, auto dealers going out of business. Is Xpeng selling zero mileage used cars? At least for me personally, I recently heard this news and learned that there are zero kilometer used cars. Within Xpeng, we operate and sell directly, and we don't distribute to dealers. There are none in China. From another perspective, for us, since we produce based on demand, our inventory is about 0.5 months. This means we forecast the demand for key materials. Therefore, we don't have zero kilometer used cars. And I believe that in the more distant future, we don't expect to have them either. I recently spoke with the Vice Chairman Brian Gu, and he told me about the trade war that it was immaterial because you do not service the U.S. market. I'd like to know the IMF, the World Bank, is downgrading the global growth targets for countries around the world. Does that impact your full year sales targets? I think the answer is both yes and no. Why? Firstly, today's political and economic changes affect all companies and industries, and we are certainly part of it. However, why no? Because within the Chinese automotive industry, we are still a very small company. Last year, we accounted for only 0.1 percent of all passenger car sales in China. You would consider us a very small player. Of course. We are also very happy that in April this year we ranked seventh globally in pure electric vehicle sales. So, from my perspective, since our original market share was so small, even if we doubled it, we are still a small company. Therefore, we remain very confident in maintaining high-speed growth this year. Are you able to tell us how many markets you're servicing now, and which ones are your priority? I don't have an exact number because we are expanding every month. But I estimate we are now in more than 40 countries. If you ask me the areas that I'm focused on, there will be places like Germany, France, and the UK in Europe, Southeast Asia, such as our recent entry into Indonesia, and regions like Hong Kong and Macau. However, my primary focus is still on Europe. I believe we are doing a good job with quality, service, and technology. I especially hope that people around the world perceive Xpeng as a tech innovative company, a company with excellent service quality, and a company willing to achieve mutual success with local communities. I hope to earn such a reputation. For me, if in 10 or 20 years from now I can look back and feel proud and accomplished, that would be my goal. Therefore, making Europe a successful market. And ensuring quality is my most important objective right now. There's an expectation that I've been told by Brian again that Xpeng will be break even by the fourth quarter of this year. What is the biggest risk to that? I think this is a challenging question for me. The biggest risk may be policy instability, especially the instability with policies internationally. Which has an uncontrollable impact on the company. If we talk about factors, I believe we have made very detailed preparations. 
I am confident that under overall stable conditions, we can achieve our profitability goals. You've announced the launch of the Turing AI chip. This is a moving away from an NVIDIA chip. What are the benefits of doing this? Does this make you less susceptible to the export control restrictions out of the United States? Self-developed chips are definitely more expensive than purchased ones. Why? Because their development costs are extremely high. If you don't have enough scale, they can't be cheaper than third-party chips. But self-developed chips have a long-term advantage because they allow customization of computing power, models and data. Since we develop our own chips and also write AI models, we can maximize performance and capabilities. I believe this will provide significant advantages in the long term. Today, we don't lack computing power. What we lack is a stronger performance to bring even greater capabilities. In a way, I think this is a necessary path for XPeng to transition from a small tech company into a larger one. However, our current challenge is the third-party chips, like NVIDIA's, which we consider excellent. For example, during the debut of the G7 yesterday, we used both our chips and continued our collaboration with NVIDIA, offering two chip versions.